Temporal Forces can't come soon enough. It releases on March 22nd. That's almost two months away. But Japan is already playing our upcoming Temporal Forces formats with the brand new sets, Cyber Judge and Wild Force. And I've got nine booster boxes to open in today's video. Four booster boxes of Wild Force and five booster boxes of Cyber Judge. And you might be wondering, Andrew, why are you opening more Cyber Judge than Wild Force? It's because I like the set better. I'm gonna be opening these boxes so that I can build decks out of the cards that I open and show them off here on the channel. So I'm really stoked about that and I can't wait to see which cards perform the best. I'm excited to dive into the opening, but before I do, let's hear a word from today's video sponsor, Baiyi.jp. Baiyi.jp is a Japanese proxy shipping service that allows you to order products directly from sellers in Japan and get them shipped anywhere in the world. Baiyi is a trusted service in the trading card game industry and a service that I've been using for years to import Pokemon cards. One of the things that I like best about Baiyi is that you can order a bunch of products from different sellers and then get the packages consolidated into a single package at the Baiyi warehouse to save money on shipping from Japan. Create an account today using the link in the description below and you'll receive a coupon code for 10% off your first purchase. Huge thank you to Baiyi.jp for sponsoring this video and thank you for checking out Baiyi.jp today. All right, folks, hold on tight. We've got a lot of booster boxes to open in this video. Naturally, the first couple of boxes that I open are probably going to go by a little bit slower as I really take in all of the new cards, the new artwork, the new hollow foil patterns and all of that. But as we get down to like, you know, the fourth and the fifth booster boxes, then I'll speed things up and make sure that we're cruising along so that you don't have to play this YouTube video on two times speed, which you're probably already doing. What I'm trying to say is sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, baby. First up, we've got a Cyber Judge booster box with iron leaves, iron boulder, and iron crown on the front. And check these guys out. The future is Chrome, baby. Look at those handsome robotic Pokemon R2-D2 looking fellas. We've got a lot of really cool new things coming up in this set. There is the return of A-Spec cards. A little Breloom there. The new Matang with the ability that allows you to look at the top four cards of your uh, deck and attach any metal energy you find there to your Pokemon. Love that. Drillbur and Iron Crown EX in the first booster pack. That is what I'm talking about, dude. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Iron Crown EX. Look at that. C3PO looking dog thing. Psychic type Pokemon with an ability that makes all of your future Pokemon do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon and it stacks, which is crazy. So that means if you have four Iron Crown EX in play, then your future Pokemon do 80 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. And its attack does 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon and goes through all effects on your opponent's Pokemon. So really excited about that. Torracat. Lickitung Senior. <laughs> Licky Licky, Excadrill, and Shiftry. Litten. That Pikachu is very cute. It's like running up a wall, maybe doing parkour or something. Grubbin. And Scizor EX. Yo, why does creatures just keep making Scizor EX so bad? I mean, I feel like there's been... There was like Mega Scizor... EX was like not a good card. And then, you know, this Scizor EX is not a good card. Scizor is cool though. I know Scizor has got a lot of stands out there. Very popular Pokemon. They keep printing Scizor. It's just consistently never good. Mawile. Is this Grubbin? No, this is uh, 
This is Grub Senior. Bramblegast. Bramblin. Electabire. Rabska. That's Charge Bug. That's right. Rabska is cool. It's got a bench barrier ability. Oh, Mr. Mime. And Beldum. This Deerling is extremely cute, I have to say. Extremely. And Mist Energy with Rebombi. Rimbombi. The Rebombinator. Slugma. Pie Dove. This Pie Dove's got a cool ability which allows you to instantly evolve into like Unpheasant or something. But uh, you gotta have like, you know, 30 damage on it. It's gotta have 30 HP or less. So you gotta damage it first. C Dot. Love the Knit Pokemon. And Iron Valiant Hollow Rare. It's got an attack that does 100 plus 100. There's some condition, I think, about, you know, future booster energy capsule or something like that. And then my favorite card, the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0. Perfect for all of your men's grooming needs right there. You can use code tag team at checkout. <laughs> Code tag team, that's free shipping and 20% off your entire order. Wow, what a deal. Scyther. And there's a Bramble Ghast. This little fellow shouldn't even say a little. It gets pluffed plus 50 HP for each prize card your opponent's taking. So if your opponent's taking five prizes, that means this thing's going to have 350 HP. It's nuts. And then Saw's Buck allows you to go. Search out a stadium card from your deck every turn. There's Lick a Tongue with its magnificent tongue. Meltan. Shroomish. Yo, holy smokes! <laughs> Look at this guy! Whoa! He's so sick! What the heck, dude? Look how sick he is! <laughs> What an absolute unit. <laughs> what the? What in the world? Oh my gosh. How is he so cool? <laughs> yes, he is so sick, dude. He's so sick. My goodness. Iron Boulder. He's huge. 240 hit points. Let's attack. Does 60 damage and places 8 damage counters if your opponent dares to touch it the following turn. Oh, yeah, dude. I You know I want to put Iron Boulder in my deck. Wow. These Pokemon cards never fail to impress. These things just look gorgeous. Beautiful Boulder. He's got, like, some galaxy-looking stuff in his, like, headpiece. Dang, that's that's crazy. Love it. Got Electabuzz. Another Drillber. Oh, Rabska Jr. I don't know what your name is. Unpheasant and Bianca's Sincerity. Licky Licky and Torcats. Pineco. Yes, dude. This set is just full of units. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. He looks so good. Iron Thorns. Man. I know. Just look how many units there are in the future set. The future set is just full of them. And, and this guy, Mr. Treads. Yo, Senor Treads. This Thorns is so fire. Yeah, that card looks great. I collect the, uh, the Japanese art rares, so really excited about that card. Look at that, dude. Oh, man. I'm so excited about A-Spex. You will not believe how amped up I am about this. We got, like, the giant cape thing. All right. Plus 100 HP to any Pokemon. Absolutely crazy. This thing looks gorgeous, honestly. These A-Spex are just so pretty. The texture on them looks amazing. 
And I love how pink the A specs are because they uh, they just stand out in your deck. I was showing this off earlier. Like if you're scanning through your deck and you're wondering if your A spec is prized, like you know instantly if your A spec is prized. You know, look at that. You don't have to wonder at all if you prize your A spec. As soon as you, you're like, oh yeah, there it is. Bam, right? I love how much it pops out of the deck. It looks so good. Absolutely amazing. Wow. These cards look phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Such a cool A-spec too. Given the Pokemon it's attached to plus 100 HP, no drawbacks. Unlike Luxurious Cape, which makes it so your Pokemon gives up an additional prize card, there's no drawbacks. Delmize and Delcaddy. Yo, Delmize into Delcaddy. Crazy. Giraffe rig. Saul's buck. And Metagross evolves from that Matang, which accelerates energy into play. Speaking of the Matang, there he is. This is probably my favorite card in the set, just because he's so cool and accelerates metal energy into play. Just love that dude so much. Can't wait to play him in my Gym Leader Challenge deck. Could also be really good in Standard. Oh my gosh. I mean, just look at how beautiful these art rares are. This thing is stunning. Absolutely amazing. Shiftry. It's got an attack that like puts your opponent's Pokemon back into their hand or their deck or something. So, so sick. Look how tough that Shiftry looks. Just with the C dots kind of flying all around it. Yeah, that thing, that thing rules. Wow, that that just looks super crispy, super sharp. Sheesh. There go those cards. We got Raichu. I love this Raichu for Gym Leader Challenge. It spreads damage. 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon, well, and your Pokemon, that have any damage counters on it already, which is just so good in Lightning Spread. Gym Leader Challenge decks, and the uh, Mel Metal has an attack that costs way too much energy, but kind of sick. A little Victini, very cute, and uh, Metatite, Skitty, Rabska, Lawnmower 5.0, Scyther, Cutie Fly, Drampa. Okay, and Metacham. This Drampa is sick, though. Colorless Drampa. And we've gotten a few colorless Drampas over the uh, course of the years, but not every Drampa's colorless. A lot of times we get Dragon-type Drampa. And the colorless Drampa it just reminds me of a simpler time, like back when Dragonite was colorless. Back when Dragon Pokemon used to be colorless type. So I kind of like that. It's a little nostalgic seeing Dragon Pokemon printed as colorless. I really like that. It's cool. It's got an attack. does 100 damage plus 120 more damage. But all of your bench Pokemon have to have damage counters on them. It's kind of a difficult condition to satisfy. Nice. We got Zeraora and Cryptomaniacs Deciphering. It's a new future supporter card. Allows you to pick two cards out of your deck. Then you shuffle your deck and you put the two cards on top of your deck in any order. And Zeraora. Looks like he's doing some Spider-Man jumps or something like that. Now, if if the you know, future Pokemon continue to get more future-related supports, maybe Cryptomaniacs Deciphering starts to see more play. Kind of like the, the Karina supporter, right? Which was not, like, terribly good. It, it just filled your hand to six, the Rapid Strike supporter. But then Rapid Strike decks played the uh, the Karina supporter to fill your hand to six just because it was searchable with the Rapid Strike search on Octillery. You know, if future Pokemon get something like that that make the Cryptomaniac searchable or, you know, in some kind of way just really make it so that you want those future tags on your cards, then that would be good. We got another boulder. That's... Two boulders in one box. Regular art. Iron boulder. Just 
a total stud, Mr. Mime, and Mag Cargo. This Mag Cargo's got an ability, makes it so that your opponent's Pokemon becomes burned whenever they switch it into the active spot during their turn. Just kind of interesting. It's a little gimmicky. Not really worth building a deck around, but kind of fun. Raichu and Metagross. Yo, the Litten. It's our third art rare. I'm imagining we're getting probably about three art rares per box, and this one is just super cute. Whereas, like, the Iron Thorns and the Shiftry look super tough, this one is very cute. Just Litten's in the bookshelf. There's, like, a Litten polka doll, Litten book, a couple of Litten books, a couple of Litten as well. Litten portraits. That one's really cute. It looks like there's like a Litten postcard up there in the corner. Yes, my goal is to open uh, four Iron Crown EX. I haven't found any of the Maridon yet, but I would like to also open four Maridon. Iron Thorns Hollow Rare there. I just want to come away from this with enough cards to build a future toolbox deck and an Ancient Toolbox deck. For Rigoraf, EX. It's got 260 hit points and the ability that makes it so it can't be damaged by your opponent's basic Pokemon EX. Pretty neat card. With Mist Energy, you can make it so that it can't be affected by Frenzied Gouging either. You know, and I figure that if you're going to play a card like Rigoraf EX, you probably have to protect it from Roaring Moon, which is one of the most Powerful basic Pokemon EX in the game right now. Vikavolt. And last booster pack of the first box. It's looking like one A spec a box. Yup. So we got one A spec in our first box. Four Pokemon EX. Three art rares. And one secret rare. Awesome. Take a walk on the wild side. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dang, you know, I'm just like dad mode over here. Wow, dang. Da -na -na -na. You make my heart sing. Ba -da -da -da. <laughs> Let's go. This is our first uh, ancient box. Wild Force. There's Roserade. And emergency board. My wife Natalie collects uh, Roselia. She's working on a worldwide all. Ooh, we got a gold card. She's working on a worldwide all languages, 100% complete collection of Roselia and Electrode cards. So she does need the Roselia out of the set, which shouldn't be hard to pull. I think I can find her the Roselia. Look at that dude. What? Roaring Wake thing? <laughs> Gold Suicune? Washing Wake? Walking Wake? Yes, there he is. Golden Walking Wake. Yo, this is kind of crazy. I've got the Golden Boulder and the Golden Wake in like my first two booster boxes. That's that's pretty, pretty schnasty. I mean, just absolutely nuts. We got an ancient gold card and a future gold card. Which one do you like better? I got, dude, the, the kind of swirlies on this one are definitely nuts. That is pretty cool. Looks like this is what we got as far as our, our secret arts or our, what, secret rares. The gold cards. Ekans. And Totodile. Turnt Twig. And... The Ghastly Art Rare. I love that the Ghastly Art Rare has got Haunter and Gengar on the card. I mean, just amazing. Wow. It is so cool. I mean, I'm a Ghastly fan. Don't get me wrong. But Haunter and Gengar are definitely like the coolest parts about Ghastly. The fact that Ghastly evolves into them. So kind of having the whole gang here really makes this probably one of my favorite Ghastly cards ever. Yeah, what is that Gengar licking? It's kind of licking his tail fog, you know? Like, And then the Ghastly looking back like, hey there, buddy. <laughs> you know, what you, what you doing? 
<laughs> and finally, yes, here we go. Buddy Poffin. Going to be one of the strongest cards in this set. Most definitely searches out two Pokemon with 70 hit points or less. And puts them straight onto the bench. Buddy Poffin puts the card straight to the bench, right? Kind of assuming that it does, but I guess I don't know for sure, for sure. Haunter. Crocodile. Yeah, puts them straight to the bench. Senti Scorch. Morty. And there she is, the beautiful Rosalia. Oh, my wife Natalie is going to be so pleased. Here she is. Roselia in all her glory. Sizzlypede. Mightyena. And Dunsparce. Dunsparce uh, has got an ability. I think when you play it from your hand, you get to draw three cards. And Sharpedo. Roselia has got the poison point ability. I think it instantly poisons your opponent's active if Roselia gets attacked. Attacked. Dun dun. Dun dun. Competition Y, yes, I would love some. A little Nicki Minaj there. Minchino. And Walking Wake again. Okay, we got a Walking Wake and a Gold Walking Wake. And then we got the Iron Boulder and the Gold Iron Boulder. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Mr. Wake. Hello. Walking Wake is a pretty cool Pokemon. It's got an ability, Azure Wave, that makes its, makes its attacks go through all effects on your opponent's active Pokemon, so can't be blocked by silly Farigaraf EX. And then its attack does 120 damage plus 120 more damage if your opponent's active is affected by a special condition. So you could play it with Brute Bonnet, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Yo, I didn't know this thing was going to be a hollow rare. That's pretty cool. The Flutter Main makes it so your opponent's active Pokemon has no ability, period. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, you know, right now it just stops Cramorant and Comfy. I mean, really, those are the only two. And then we got Great Tusk. Great Tusk is a mill Pokemon. He mills the opponent. Oh, and Chen Pao. It stops Chen Pao. I guess that's why I thought it was basics for the uh, Fluttermane, because I guess your opponent weirdly also can't evolve into Charizard in the active spot. Yeah, so, like, they'd have to evolve on the bench and then come into the active. All right, maybe that card's pretty good. And we got the belt. Let's go, dude. The belt. This crazy belt makes it so that the Pokemon it's attached to does 50 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon EX. 50. Giratina V-Star can wear this thing and do 330 damage to your opponent's Charizard EX. That's right. 330 damage with Lost Impact. 280 getting elevated to 330. That means that a Giratina V-Star can knock out two Charizard EX. You thought you were going to knock out my Charizard EX, but my Charizard EX has got the cape on it, giving it 430 HP. Dang, A specs are going to be so fun. They're going to be so much fun. I can't wait to play all these funny A spec cards in my decks. And we're going to be showing these new cards off in action on Tricky Gym, uh, building decks and playing them right here on this table in the days and weeks ahead. So definitely make sure to stay tuned for all the newest Temporal Forces content that I've got coming your way. Another Buddy Poffin. And again, huge thank you to buy.jp for sponsoring this pack opening so that I can provide all of this Japanese Pokemon TCG content ahead of the Temporal Forces release. Banana Hat is here. Look at my dude, Banana Hat. Just a absolute unit. 230 HP, does 260 damage. Love that dude, gouging far. 260 damage is so much damage. Wow, on a basic? Wowee. A gouging fire is definitely my favorite of the three beasts i think it's the coolest one cooler than long neck giraffe guy cooler than walking wake banana hat is by far the dopest for real colossal and uh emergency board 
Wug Trio, baby. Let's go. Lightning type Pokemon EX. 250 HP, and you can uh, use its first attack. Discard three energy from your hand. Do 180 damage to one of your opponent's uh, Pokemon. Can even be a bench Pokemon, which is pretty neato. Explorer. It's a new ancient supporter. You look at the top six cards of your deck. Keep two in your hand. Discard the other four. Going to have to play that card in the Dawn Fan deck. And maybe ancient toolbox decks. This new stadium. It's kind of like the old Verbank City Gym. Increases poison damage on your opponent's active Pokemon by two. <laughs> I love him so much. Bronzor. Why are you looking at this? <laughs> Bronzor looking in the mirror. You know, I never thought of Bronzor as the type of Pokemon that would be checking its appearance out in a Bronzor-shaped mirror, but I love this artwork. It's just, it's so cute. Look at him with his little smile, just his little grin. He's just looking in the mirror. He's like, dang, I do look handsome, don't I? Dang. I do look good. Whimsicott's. Has an ability that heals your opponent or heals your active Pokemon when you evolve it. But you have to discard all energy attached to it when you do. Gengar EX. This dude looks sick, but is total bulk. My man. Gengar EX. This card is just not very good. But he does look cool, though. And Gengar didn't get... A secret art rare either. I think it was, you know, just uh, Ghastly got the art rare. Gengar does not have a secret art rare. I don't think so. Ooh, I do love this for Alligator. That's a really cool card. 160 damage for two water energy, but you can use its ability, which makes it do 120 more damage. But you have to place five damage counters on your for Alligator in order to do that. So this for Alligator can do 280 damage, can one hit KO Giratina V-Star or any Pokemon V-Star for that matter for just two water energy. I mean, just really powerful single prize Pokemon. This is one of the best, most powerful for Alligator cards ever printed. I mean, it just really is. There aren't a ton of great for Alligators to compete with. Okay, there was one like way back in the day during the Neo era, which was kind of meta-defining for its time. But then, uh, what, there's like a Feraligator Prime is like, okay. There's not a lot of great Feraligators out there. I'm so excited about Feraligator, I put him in a perfect sleeve, perfect fit sleeve. All right, Feraligator, you can be a hit today, sure. Nice, another Tusk and Airy. Airy is a great supporter for control decks. I'm actually kind of excited to build the Tusk Mill deck. I'm just curious, you know, curious if it's if it's any good. Another airy. Airy allows you to look at your opponent's hand and discard two items that you find there. With hand trimmer, you can trim your opponent's hand all the way down to five cards, and then airy and discard two more cards, leaving them with just three cards. Relicanth, super fun card. Allows your evolution Pokemon to use any attacks from their Previous evolutions, basics, stage ones, all that. Rosie, Evolution Jammer, Bronzong, and another great Tusk. Mr. Tuck, Tusk. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at this guy. Man, he is so cute. Oh my god. Uh, how is he so pretty? He's such a cutie. What the heck? The icicles and his little clear body. Man, I love Pokemon cards. Any of you guys like Pokemon cards? I just, I love Pokemon cards, man. Pokemon cards are so sick. Pokemon cards are like the coolest. That's all three of our, dude, the, the art rares in this box were awesome. I mean, in the last box too. Reuniclus and Sableye. And here we go for our Dino Box fans out there. Coridon. 
It's got 140 HP, and its attack does 30 damage times the amount of ancient Pokemon you have in play. So we could do 180 damage for two energy. There you go. Hollow Coridon. I only got four of the ancient booster boxes, so I'm going to need to find one of those. And I don't think I have the Roaring Moon yet. Dang it. Why is the Dino Box deck going to be so hard to build? I didn't open a single Roaring Moon either. It's all good, though. We got some cool cards. Gouging Fire, Banana Hat, Back to the Future. <laughs> I'm going back to the future, baby. Let's go. Delcaddy and Cryptomaniac. I'm going to be running out of bulk space. Yo, what we got? Another cape. All right, I'm going to need one of these to not be the cape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Two capes, fine. I don't need any more than two capes. I'd like to mix it up next time around. Let's get something other than the cape. I probably will only have one deck built that uses the cape. I could see myself using like two of the belts. I was thinking about trying to keep the bulk separated by which set it was in. But that just might not be a thing that occurs. Deerling! Dang, these cards are cute, man. Like, look at that deerling right there. All the seasons. You've got fall. You've got spring. You've got winter. And the deerling is, like, hopping from fall to winter. That's art right there, dude. That's deep. Beautiful. Apparently, when I was just a baby, Bambi was, like, my favorite movie. I just used to watch Bambi on repeat. And I would laugh hysterically every time... Uh, Bambi slipped on the ice and kind of like, you know, spun out. I would like laugh my butt off. And then every time Bambi's mom got shot, I would, I would ball my eyes out. Yeah. Bambi's mom would die. I would ball my eyes out, but it was my favorite movie. I would ball my eyes out every time Bambi's mom got shot, but then I would laugh my butt off every time Bambi spun out on the, I haven't seen the movie since I was a baby. So I don't really, dang, they don't make movies like that anymore. <laughs> Spoilers is Bambi. Bambi, what, when did Bambi come out? Like in the, in the 60s or something? <laughs> Iron Boulder. Dang, I got a lot of boulders. I mean, that's for sure. I'm going to need something other than the boulders, though. Spoilers. You can't spoil movies that are like 50 years old. 1942 is when Bambi came out? The 40s? The 40s, dude? Dang, my parents had me watching those ancient movies. What the? Bambi came out in the 40s? The 40s? <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right. That's sick. That's going to be like me having my kid watch Shrek. I know Snow White is... I knew Snow White was, like, even older. I did know that. I'm going to have my kid watching Shrek, and they're going to be like, this This was from the 1900s? i be like, yeah. <laughs> Got another for Rigoraph EX. Yeah, Pinocchio was 1940. Was Shrek 2001? I thought maybe it slid in there in 99. Shrek might have been 2001. I thought maybe Shrek was 99. Shrek wasn't, yeah. It was 2001, wasn't it? April 2001. Dang, I'm actually kind of nuts with it. Like, dude, what? Like, what? Like, what actually, though, you know? Like, that's kind of crazy. Like, the third one, third one in a row, like, that's just not statistically likely. <laughs> It's just, it's not. Ooh, yeah, we got the gold crown, dude. That's nuts. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's my second iron crown, so I can't be upset with that because I need four of them, maybe three, but that's pretty sweet. And it looks like you know, all the iron guys are going to have that little, like, you see kind of the circle patterns on them, like little, like, confetti kind of. I gotta say, Iron Crown is definitely the ugliest. It just is. It is. I'm sorry. Mr. Crown, <laughs> I'm sorry to, to put you on blast like that, but you're definitely the ugliest. Listen, you're no bolder, man. Like, look at that. Crown doesn't even fill up the card. Like, he's just, 
<laughs> he's just little little stick legs over here. Meanwhile, Boulder, Boulder is. <laughs> I can't, I can't say it. I'm not, not going to say it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to. Boulder's voluptuous, all right? <laughs> yeah, Boulder, that's a full Pokemon right there. A little Iron Crown? Dude. This card is more gold than it is Iron Crown. It's, you hardly take up the card. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's, it's mostly... This card is mostly background. <laughs> it's mostly background. Whereas this guy, you know, that's a... Now, that's a Pokemon right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a Pokemon. You guys think I can open all six gold Pokemon? What's up? I mean, I'm on... Bramblegast. I think I'm on pace. Three for three is kind of nuts. Oh, yeah. That handsome Excadrill. He's just eating some snacks. What a good boy. Yeah, he's a real good boy. He's a good boy eating his little, maybe his little rice ball or whatever. Yeah, he's nice. What a fine gentleman that is. Do you think that that Excadrill's making a living wage? What about health benefits? Do you think that Excadrill's got... I mean, I guess Pokemon probably all have free health care at the Pokemon Center. That's crazy. Just saying. Yeah, the Pokemon Centers are free. All right, yeah, the Pokemon world does have free health care. All right, but what about a livable wage? Do you think that Excadrill's getting paid? Nice. That's Crown EX number three. But I haven't opened a single Maridon yet. Where is that card? I heard the Maridon is in here. That thing better not be a hollow rare. It's totally a hollow rare, isn't it? My goodness. Oh my gosh. It's got to be a hollow rare, right? Come on, Maridon. Come on. And the Coridon, I'm not going to be able to find any of these things. There he is. Thank God. Yes, you. I'm talking about you, buddy. You are way too hard to find. I figured five booster boxes would be plenty to find you. Uh-huh. mid -ride on. I need at least like three or four of you. We didn't find any in our, in our first booster box. And it, I don't think that you can pull double hollows in a box. They seem like... <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh look at him he's just walking in the snow yeah look <laughs> he's playing <laughs> look at this one in the background he's building a snowman <laughs> man he's hilarious dude what the heck yeah he's metagross building snowmen god what a cool pokemon the Pokemon cards give the Pokemon so much personality. There is more personality in this single Pokemon card than there is in the entire Scarlet and Violet video games. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. You can't tell me I'm wrong, because I'm right. All right, I really am on a mission now, though. I got to find some Iron Crowns. Not Iron Crowns. I've already got the Iron Crowns, pretty much. I need to find the mid Rhydons, and I gotta find the Coridons, and I gotta find those moon things. People are trying to play like, you know, four of those Roaring Moons and four of those Coridons in the same Beast Box deck. Like, how am I, not Beast Box, Dino Box. How am I supposed to build the deck if these Hollow Rares are so stingy and hard to find? All right, that's it for box number three. Dang, three for three on the gold Paradox Pokemon. That's kind of nuts. Ancient box time. This box, yo, Raging Bulk. I mean, Raging Bolt EX. Look at this guy, 240 HP. He's a big dragon long neck Raikou. 
And he's got an attack that lets you discard your hand, draw six cards, or you can discard any amount of basic energy from your Pokemon in play. It does 70 damage for each energy you discarded. So if you discard five energy, you're gonna be doing 350 damage. Woo! That's pretty cool. You can accelerate to it with Professor Seda's Vitality. You can also use, uh, I don't know, those Magnetons that walk on their legs, shocking shocks or something. Sandy shocks. Sandy. Oh, look at him. Wow. Reuniclus. He is just so lovely. Laying back in the water, hanging out with his friends. No, Japan does not have guaranteed hollow rares in their packs. They do not. Not even close. They got five cards a pack. But their booster box is MSRP for $50. So, like, that's pretty good. So there's that. Whereas, like, the international booster box is MSRP for, like, $160. So... You can, you can literally buy three of these booster boxes for the cost of one international booster box. Three, which is crazy. Nice, we got Flutterman. I gotta get a gold. Yo, the drum. I'm glad we got something different the drum ace back is super cool allows you to draw a card for each of your ancient pokemon in play so if you have six ancient pokemon that's just an item card that lets you draw six so you can play research discard your hand draw seven you can play the drum draw six squawkabilly discard your hand draw six more definitely excited that we pulled one of those that could be a card that sees play in the uh in any of the ancient decks. I'm not looking for Whimsicott. Whimsicott, I don't need you. We've pulled two of you already. We need Coridon or Roaring Moon. Dude, if Coridon and Roaring Moon are both hollow rares, aren't they? I haven't pulled a single one of these Roaring Moons yet. So I'm assuming that this Roaring Moon is a hollow rare. Got another Wug Trio. Rhydons and Moons. Instead, we get another da dun sparse. Da da dun, da da dun, dun sparse. We got plenty of tusks. So the tusk mill deck. That's gonna be no problem to build. Yo, the art rare relicant though is kind of kind of sick with it. He's so sleepy and so ancient. Whoa. Just thinking about all the years past spent under the sea. And another walking wake EX. This time we got the full art. Okay, so we broke our streak of uh Gold cards. We've got plenty of Walking Wake, though. The Walking Wake Full Art. Our first Full Art of the pull of the opening so far. We have only pulled gold cards. I feel like I've got plenty of Walking Wakes. I got as many Walking Wakes as anybody could possibly want. I will be completely satisfied if I never open another. I'm also, you know... Getting a decent amount of Buddy Poffins, so that's good. Another for Alligator, great. And Crocodile, he's so cute, dang. Rosie. Now this Chinchino is actually pretty cool. It's got an attack that does 70 damage times the amount of special energy attached to it. So you could play it with Lugia V-Star and load it up, one hit KO things. Did I say Crocodile? Croconaw, whatever. Here's my Roaring Mid 
Finally, roaring mid. About time. We got the moon. Now I've got one dinosaur and I've got one moon. You guys don't need to be in sleeves. I don't know who I'm kidding. But I do want to keep track of that because that is a deck that people want to see. Oh, my goodness. How is he so cute? Grottle, he's just got a little Meryl on his back. Man, just giving him a ride. But look at this. There's this Meryl that he left in the dust back there. And he's trying to catch up. But this Grottle is, is moving. I mean, just absolutely motoring. Gonna be tough to catch up with this guy. Look how fast he's going. This card rocks. Retreat cost of four. He's a hefty dude. That's our third art rare. Looks like we're probably due for another Pokemon EX, though. And there we go, gouging far. It's a fine looking banana hat there, sir. Yes! Got another Karidon, very good. Excellent. It's another one for the stack. Gengar EX. And just three packs left in this booster box. Turnt Twig. We haven't seen Torterra EX yet. Explorer's Discovery. Is it Explorer's Discovery? Something like that. And nothing. Okay. Out of that booster box, we got our first Raging Bolts. We got the drum. That was great. And another Koridon, another Moon. So that's a big dub for this pack. Stoked about that one. future time. I feel like I used up all my luck on these gold cards. Rapska. And there's our first Iron Leaves. Excited about that. Definitely wanted to pull this guy. Iron Leaves EX. Is this our first Iron Leaves? First Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves EX has this ability which pulls all the energy to it and allows you to switch it into the active spot and then this attack does 180 damage. Perfect for knocking out those Charizard EX, those pesky, gigantic stage two darkness Pokemon that are uh, kind of tough to knock out. Meltan or Melmetal, excuse me. Incineroar EX, okay, if you watch my set review, on temporal forces then you know there's a lot of people out there who think this incinerary x is not destined for the bulk bin but i'm telling you that it that it is yeah uh-huh that's that's just my opinion man i don't think this guy is very good but he is kind of cool if you like you know fuzzy cats that stand on their feet and have you know big gigantic pectoral muscles then that's kind of your thing but if not then that's okay probably a bulk car card not very good. I know its ability seems promising, but I promise you it's not. Lawnmower 5.0. Is that card good? Is uh not that card. Is that Pokemon good in VGC? Is Incineroar like a a VGC powerhouse or something? He is good in VGC, isn't he? A menace in VGC. The best VGC mode. It's dominance. Nice. We got another Excadrill. What makes Incineroar so good in the VGC? Do tell. I'm curious now. Does it have like Intimidate or something? I don't know anything. I'm gonna. I don't know anything about VGC. All right. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know squat. It. It does have Intimidate. I'm a genius. <laughs> Intimidate is so clearly the most broken ability in, in VGC. It's like not even close. Like how is that thing not, how is Intimidate not just the most broken ability ever? You bring it out and then their their attack is like lowered. Just what the heck? And it's got fake out? That's crazy. All right, we've really fallen off with the, uh, the secret rare hits here. Scizor EX Full Art Edition. 
Wow, look how shiny our praying mantis bug guy is with his big claws. Gonna have to build an, a Scizor EX deck. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Uh, you're telling me that uh, Incineroar is good because it's a combination of Dark Type, Fake Out, and Intimidate. Yeah, that sounds nuts. Let's go! We got the future pod. Yes! This is pod racing. What's it called? It's like an egg thing. Incubator? I don't know. Future, future uh, gas thing. It looks like handles that you would like fill up a gas tank with. It's R2-D2, basically. Basically. The future A spec is bad? No way. This thing's nuts. Reboot pod. This thing's crazy. You get to attach an energy from your discard pile to each of your future Pokemon. That's nuts. That card can accelerate six energy into play. Six. I think that thing's crazy. Six energy. Six. Hey, your iron leaves can go take a whole bunch of that energy, though. Move it to itself. There's our second mid. Great news. All right, we've got two. We probably need three. I'm thinking of the Hollow Rare Maridon for the uh, Future Box deck. Oh, I'm building all the decks I can out of this set. That's for sure. As many as we can. I'll even build the Great Tusk Mill deck. Another Litten. I think the Great Tusk Mill sounds kind of fun. You know, just counter catch or something up. Yo, we got the Deerling and the Sawsbuck. So handsome, dude. So the Sawsbuck's going from spring to summer to fall. And then the Deerling, I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's just beautiful right there. It's gorgeous, dude. I love it. And so cool, too, just with the whole theme of Sawsbuck and Deerling being seasonal Pokemon. Another Frigoraph EX. Little Iron Treads. He seems okay. I've seen some of the Japanese lists playing Iron Treads. If you have a future booster energy capsule attached to it, it's hitting for both both metal and fighting weakness, which is situationally useful, but it's only doing base 60 damage, so you do need quite a few buffs in order to do anything. There's Iron Crown EX. Sick. Excited about that. I don't want to have to play my gold crown if I don't have to. So if I could just find like four regular art crowns, that would be fantastic. Bianca. The Metal Stadium. And... Bramblegast. Cool, that's it for box number five. We're over halfway done. We've got our, what, sixth booster box? I've got four booster boxes left. Oh, I realized I did not take, nice, Bronzor. I did not take any pictures for the thumbnail of this video. Dang, what am I supposed to do about that? When I get down to the final two booster boxes, I'm gonna take some pictures with my phone. That's what I'm gonna do. But only when I get to the final two. Yes! We got one of them moons. Thank goodness. Got a banana hat. We're halfway to Dino Box. Most of the way the future box. I still, oh my gosh. All right, we've got a lot of those walking. Wait, guys. I think I have like actually five of them or something. 
I've got a walking weight guaranteed in every single. Yo, let's go. <laughs> yeah. I got full art airy. This is awesome. Yes. She looks great. Beautiful full art supporter. Airy looking super tough in this picture. Stanced up. Arms crossed. Love that. Beautiful full art. And a great card for control decks as well. Great Tusk and a Buddy Poffin. And our second Relicanth. For those of you that are here watching live on Twitch, I will be doing a giveaway at the end of the opening for some of my extras, because I don't need all of them. So got to stay tuned till the end in order to participate, though. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to head over to the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Tricky Jim. Yes, we got Dino too. Oh, this is this is going great actually. We got the Dino. Head over to the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Tricky Jim, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every weekday. And do fun stuff like giveaways, Pokemon trading card game live gameplays. Our first Torterra EX. There he is. What a big boy. 340 HP and an attack that does 30 damage for each of your grass Pokemon in play. So it behooves you to play a deck of entirely grass Pokemon when you're playing Torterra. He's huge. And we got Neo Upper Energy. This is a new ace spec that Counts as a double rainbow energy whenever it's attached to a stage two Pokemon. Not one of the strongest ace specs, but I am thankful that we were able to pull it because variety is great. All right, which one of these sets is the uh, prime catcher in? Is it in the ancient set or the future set? Because I'm starting to get a little bit, oh, it's in Cyber Judge, all right. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous that maybe we're not gonna pull the prime catcher. Dude, this Arbok is crazy. Look at that thing. Arbok and two cannon. Super cool artwork. Dude, what is he gonna do to the, you think he's gonna eat the bird? Dude, two cannons about to beef it, dude. See, I looked at it more innocently. Like I thought that they were hanging out and maybe they were they were friends. But now that I'm like looking at it with a more critical lens, um, I'm thinking that maybe this is more like National Geographic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is not great that two cannon does not know what's about to go down dude oh no poor two cannon thank the circle of life am i right I do really like the artwork on the the Wild Force. I, mean, I think the artwork on this booster pack is just so much nicer than the artwork on the, I don't know. The future guys, they all look so cold and metallic and, you know, and stiff. I also just love the color yellow. Yellow is, is my favorite color, just straight up has something to do with the fact that I love lightning Pokemon too. The fact that I love lightning Pokemon has something to do with the fact that my favorite color is yellow. Just love the color yellow. It's bright, fun, happy color. The future Pokemon looks so depressing. I mean, just compare these two side by side, right? Oh yeah, like this one. I mean, I think, yeah, like this, this, this box goes crazy actually. I, I love the look of the box in general. It just looks awesome. They look so good. Okay, we got another Flutter Main. I've seen a lot of these Dino Box decks playing like a healthy count of Flutter Mains, so I am feeling like I need 
like four of those guys too. Which makes sense. I mean, if you're playing like four Flutter Main and you're opening it up against a Lost Box deck, like they're going to be having a bad time. It's another Gengar. And then last pack. All right. This is a solid booster box overall. The Full Art Airy is sweet. We got our first Torterra EX, our first Neo Upper Energy also. I'm now up to three dinos and two roaring mids. Future time. Looking for that prime catcher. At this point, we just definitely need the prime catcher. It would have been probably ideal if I pulled two prime catchers. Okay, we definitely got our fourth Iron Crown EX. That's great. I may need to poke around for a couple of singles. I may need to. Uh, the set is very good. And the cards that you will be playing from the set, I feel like you're playing in, in high counts, right? It's not like, oh, I need just, you know, one or two Pidgeot EX or something, you know? All right, we got another reboot pod. At this point, I've only got one booster box left to pull the Prime Catcher. So if I don't find that uh, Prime Catcher, I will have to go hunt for that. Uh, we should be totally clear on the reboot pods now. Don't need any any more of those. Nice, we got ourselves a third Maridon. So now I think I've got pretty much everything that I need for the future deck. I would like to get a second, I would like to get a second Iron Leaves, I think. That would be good. And I've got plenty of boulders, got lots of crowns at this point. I think I've got like four of the regular art crowns, which is great. Second Iron Leaves. I got the the theme decks came in uh, late last week. Actually, I got the theme decks on Friday. I don't know if they're theme decks, but like the box sets. Nice, another Ferrigaraf. The box sets came in last week, so I've already got my Maridon EX. I've got four copies of the Maridon EX. I won't need all four copies, but I do have four, just in case. And I ordered one of the ancient little starter kits or whatever. They kind of seem like... Uh, like almost like trainer toolkits. Uh, they have stuff in them that kind of makes them feel like starter decks, but then they have stuff in them that kind of makes them feel more like a trainer toolkit. Yes, charge a bug. I love this guy. He's so cute. He's just out there camping, just having a brewski out with the fellas, camping and chilling. Uh, he's the battery? No way. Maybe so. I have a binder with all of the uh, art rares, the Japanese art rares that I collect. It's just like a really fun binder. I mean, they're just, uh, the art rares are so cool. And since I do all these Japanese openings, I end up, you know, with, yo, I end up with like a good amount of them. So it's really nice to be able to go through the binder and just see all the different art rares that I've pulled over the, uh, over the years at this point. I mean, I've been doing, I've been doing these, uh, Japanese openings for years. Lick a tongue. This lick a tongue goes crazy. His tongue is blue. That's awesome. I'm glad we got two different art rares so far out of that box. Drampa. And a full art Farigaraf EX is our secret rare out of this box. All right, Farigaraf. Welcome to the stream. Say hello. I I really am not a big fan of these like all white full art cards. I think they're kind of gaudy and ugly. If I'm gonna be honest, I mean they're just not nearly. I mean like look how like compare a card like that to a card like that. You know I mean it's these are just so much cooler. Okay, we got an Iron Thorns. I even prefer like like I just prefer like the regular art to these. The all white full arts. Yeah, I'd go regular art all day. And then for like the gold cards, 
I think he's particularly ugly. Like I said before in the earlier earlier in the opening, he's more background than he is Pokemon. I mean, he's just like, and it's just gold, it's just gold background. And he's just like this little stick figure guy, just like kind of planted in the middle. Boulder's cooler, and he's the coolest of them. I mean, he's kind of got like at least a little bit of a dynamic pose going on. The gold cards might be ugly, but at least they're gold. The Ferrigraph's not even gold. He's just. He's just got this big white background. Scizor! EX. Cryptomaniac there. Yo, another Saws Buck. Iron Valiance. Bramblegast, thank goodness I've got plenty of Bramblegast. That thing owns. And yes, our second Iron Leaves EX, perfect. So now I've got two of those, just in case I want to play them. I wouldn't ever want to play more than two. But just in case I do want to play two, it's good to have. And last pack of boost box number four for the future sets. All right. Good stuff. Plenty of future Pokemon to build our decks. I've got two booster boxes remaining, one of each. And I realized as I started opening these that I forgot to take a picture for the thumbnail. I want to do this cool picture idea that I have in mind of maybe opening both these boxes and then spreading the packs out on my barrel over there. So I'm going to open both of these boxes first and then take the packs from within them, go take a picture of them, and then continue on with the opening. Okay. Just took my thumbnail picture. So now I have a giant pile of Wild Force and Cyber Judge booster packs to open they are all mixed up so for our grand finale we are going to open a booster box of cyber judge and wild force at the same time one pack at a time switching back and forth until the job is done let's go baby <laughs> I'm gonna forget the order but the idea is to go ancient future, ancient future. And I probably will not be able to keep that up for very long, but I'm going to try. Yo, check that out. This thing is awesome, dude. Oh my gosh. This artwork goes crazy. It's so spooky, mysterious, silhouetted fire in the background. Dang, that thing, that thing is awesome. That looks great. That's an ancient. All right, so we need to open future next. Another boulder. Another long neck giraffe guy. I think this is only the second raging bolt that we've opened. So we do not have many raging bolts, which is fine because I don't think that deck is very good anyway, but People will probably still want me to play it. Yep, already forgot the order. It's fine. I think I've got some Japanese with the uh, yeah, the wa the magneton with legs. I'm pretty sure I've got some of those. Sandy shocks, ex gouging far. Maybe I can uh, whip out the Japanese Sandy Shocks if I can get another couple of uh, Raging Bulks and build the Raging Bulk deck. Nice. Got a third moon. That's great. So we're at three moons, three Coridons, three Maridons. That's about as good as it's going to get for us. Maybe we can find a fourth Maridon. 
Maybe we can find a fourth Coridon. That would be ideal. Relicanth. We can do it. Yes, fourth Coridon. All right, Dino Box, baby. Dino Box. Let's go. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to find the fourth Roaring Moon, but maybe I can do some hunting around off camera. We are so close to Dino Box. Buddy Poffin. Yo, the Meltan. He's cool. I haven't opened him yet. He is nice. It's like, what are they trying to do? They're like jumping off the ladder. There's sparks flying. Are they trying to like get up onto the table or are they showering in the in the sparks? Yeah, I don't I don't really know. I don't know exactly what's happening, but it is cute. Nice. Third iron leaves. Maybe the sparks feel good on their little metallic bodies. Yeah, maybe so. The belt. Is that an ancient one? I think that's an ancient one. All right, there's still a chance I open Prime Catcher. The belt is really good. Never upset about opening the belts, but I do need to find find a Prime Catcher. So, a little bit nervous about that. Any of these now. We haven't found our secret rares either. So every pack is starting to feel like, okay, where is it at? Where's our secret rare? Where's our prime catcher? I know you're in here. Hey, full art, Bianca Sincerity. That's pretty cool. It's a nice looking card. Not a good one, but, you know, full art supporter. Never be mad about that. I do have a pretty good full art supporter collection. I know there's some people out there who have like every full art supporter ever printed. Like that's wild. Some of those are pretty pricey at this point. Speaking of that, when Boundaries Cross came out, I think I had four full art Bianca from Boundaries Crossed in my standard deck. I think each of those full art Bianca from Boundaries Crossed is like hundreds of dollars now. Which is crazy. Back then they weren't, they were like not even 20 bucks. Gengar! All right, Bianca's the future. All right, so we got our future pull there. So it's still an ancient secret rare out there. And there's still a future. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Come on, Prime Catcher. 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 No, it's the cape. <laughs> no. Oh, no, Prime Catcher. No, another cape. <laughs> I'm going to have to go hunting for Prime Catcher. No, five booster boxes. No Prime Catcher. Boo. <laughs> Oh, man, you're killing me, bro. You're killing me. It's fine. Yo, check him out. He's sick, though. Okay, all right. All right, that's fine. He's actually, this card goes crazy, though, so that's fine. Yeah, the full art, uh, secret art rare, Morty, with the Gengar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Yeah, huge dub. Huge, huge dub. With the Gengar. Yeah, yeah, this card is awesome.
I absolutely love this artwork. Like Gengar didn't get a secret art rare in this set, but he's on the he's on the Morty card. So like that's pretty freaking cool. I absolutely love that. And then Gengar and Gas and Haunter are on the uh Yeah, that's probably my favorite secret art rare of like the entire set is this one right here with the uh with the Morty. Yeah, that card is awesome. Just so cool. I'm really excited that we pulled that. I think I like that card better than better than the Bianca Sincerity, better than the better than all of like the Paradox legendaries for Alligator. Meg Cargo. And another Litten. Just going to have to build the Incinerary X deck, you know? Morty. Whimsicots. I can't believe we opened all these and only found one Torterra. Thankfully, we were a little more lucky with, like, the other guys that we really needed. Like Iron Crown. I mean, I it could have only been one Iron Crown that we found. But we definitely want more than one of those. So a little low on... little low on raging bulks and I'm very low on torteras we didn't open hardly any but got plenty of wugs that's for sure I think uh what like third or fourth wug trio plenty of ferrigarafs that's for dang sure yes yeah, someone uh someone on stream called it raging bulk when I was doing my set review the other day. And even if Raging Bolt becomes like a tier one deck, which I think is highly um, improbable because I think the card is not good. But even if it does, I will just, I think always call it Raging Bulk. It's kind of like mid ride on, you know? Yeah, like mid ride on's just mid ride. Like even though, even though I like Maridon, I still call it mid ride on and roaring mid. You know, it, it's almost, it's it's kind of like endearing, you know? There we go. This is a pretty cool artwork. The Chitat, the way that it's situated on the wires, actually, it's like, you know, they're music notes. You see? You got the, the treble clef up there. Yeah, they're, they're music notes. And if you play them, this one's like, do, 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 do. And this one is Chitat's like cry up top. Yeah. Uh-huh. But this bottom one's like the Pokemon Center, like, do, 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 do. Yeah, see? Bump, bump, banana. And then this one's, I think the top one is Chitat's Cry. Cool little Easter egg there. Saw that on the Twitter app. And another Deerling. Yo, let's go. Amped up about that. So I can uh, send my buddy Chris the Deerling and the Saws Buck as a little gift since he's such a big Saws Buck fan. Incineroar EX. Sauce Buck's not very good. It allows you to search your deck for a stadium, put it into your hand, but uh, the artwork's just really cool. And my friend Chris just really likes Sauce Buck, so I'll probably send him those. Just a little surprise. Hey, he's cute. Wow. Mintino. Two packs left. And our last booster pack. And that's it for the opening. Our ancient and future opening Wild Force Cyber Judge. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to go through the cards that we opened real quick and assess what we were able to find. After opening five booster boxes of Cyber Judge and four booster boxes of Wild Force, this is everything that I was able to find. Got one gold 
Iron Crown EX, and four Regular Arts Iron Crown EX, three Iron Leaves EX, a Gold Iron Boulder, and three Regular Iron Boulder EX, two Incineroar EX, a Full Art Ferrigraph EX, and four Regular Art Ferrigraph EX, Full Art Scizor EX, and four Regular Art Scizor EX, a Full Art Bianca Sincerity, three of these pink a spec cape things <laughs> to reboot pod and this is where my prime catcher would go if i pulled one we also found three of the hollow rare maridon for the future toolbox deck for the art rares i got one shiftry one iron uh thorns that's right one one iron thorns one Metagross playing in the snow. A Lickitung. Charge a Bug camping. Meltan. Two Excadrill. Three Litten. And two Deerling. And two Sawsbuck. I got one Gold Walking Wake EX. One Full Art. Walking Wake EX and two regular art Walking Wake EX. A playset of Gengar EX, as well as a playset of Banana Hat Gouging Fire EX. Three Wubba Lubba Lub trios. Two Raging Bulks. One Torterra EX, one of those drum A specs, two of the belt A spec, and one of the Neo Upper Energy. I was also lucky enough to open the Secret Art Rare Morty and the Full Art Airy. I also found four Hollow Rare Coridon and three Hollow Rare Roaring Moon. One Art Rare Snom, one Grottle, one Arbok feasting on a two cannon, a Ghastly, Reuniclus, Fluttermane, Chatot, Minchino, two Bronzor, and two Relicanth. That wraps it up for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to buy.jp for sponsoring this opening. Make sure to follow the link in the description below. If you create an account using the link, you'll receive a coupon code for 10% off your first purchase. If you like the video, make sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I streamed the opening in its entirety. And I am also doing a giveaway of some of the extras that I opened with the cards that I keep. I'm going to be keeping some for my personal collection because I like Pokemon cards and also building competitive decks out of those cards to show off here on the channel. Y'all take it easy and have a great day. See ya.